So, Luigi's third starring role in his Haunted House series of games came out in 2019 on Halloween. However, the reason why I'm posting this video after New Year's is because of demands of adult life. So I had to pull a Nightmare Before Christmas or after Christmas in this case. So how is this third outing? Let's -a go. The game opens up in broad daylight, showing off a gorgeous hotel with beautiful landscapes. Yeah, something is not right here. Our heroes, Mario, Peach, some toads, and the star of the show, Luigi and his ghostly dog, Polterpup, ride a bus to the Golden Hotel that would surely tempt Wario. The plot is pretty much the same as the first game. Luigi receives an invitation as the lucky winner of a free stay at the hotel and invites the characters who are on the bus with him. They were welcomed by Helen Gravely. And look at Luigi's face here. He sure sees that something is strange about the workers at the hotel and sure enough, as soon as our heroes settle down, King Boo is introduced because Helen Gravely is a huge fan. So naturally, she helped King Boo capture our heroes by getting them stuck inside paintings, with the exception of Luigi, who managed to escape. Now it is up to Luigi to once again face his fears again and save his friends. After some time of wandering around in the darkness, Luigi finds the Poltergust G00. I am just gonna call it the Poltergust though. It lets him shine his flashlight extremely bright, vacuum up ghosts, which is his main form of attack. And man, do I also love being able to slam ghosts to the ground. He can also blow winds to push stuff away, blast a few feet off the ground causing a mini earthquake. I was not a fan of Luigi's walking speed, but after he gets the poltergust, he runs faster automatically. He also eventually gets the dark light, which reveal hidden objects, the suction shot, which are plungers that let him pull objects with some extra force, and then there's Gooigi. Gooigi basically lets you play co-op by yourself and solve puzzles required to use two characters. I did find the controls to be a bit awkward at first because it was hard to use the controller's face buttons and the right analog stick to turn Luigi a certain direction, but then I started using the shoulder buttons, which performs poltergust actions while at the same time being able to turn Luigi around. Eventually, Luigi also rescues Professor Egad, who was invited to the hotel for ghost research, but was captured just like the rest. Once he was rescued though, he works with Luigi from the lab by giving him a virtual boy by means of communication, and he has a shop which I loved collecting money in the first game, but in this one you can buy radars for booze and hidden gems as well as bones for Polterpuff to restore your health when it reaches zero. I think the low health sound could do without that beeping, but man those heartbeats Someone should mix those into sick beats. Anyway, Luigi has to go through the entire hotel to rescue his friends, which include getting elevator buttons to be able to go to certain floors. And man, I gotta talk about a few of the floors. I loved the movie studio floor because I like movies. Not only that, but visiting the film sets. Do you see that blue screen there? Oh, and also the camera? Have Gooigi on the set and Luigi look through the camera, you get to see the special effects and interact with them. Not only that, but it has an awesome boss fight where you're a giant fighting a monster in a monster movie. That was probably my favorite floor, but there were a few other floors that I liked too. I liked being in the sewers. Wow, I never thought I'd be saying that. But anyway, in the sewers, you ride a tube through water. And then there's the Egyptian pyramid. Hey look, I found a magic lamp. It has booby traps and everything. And then there is the dance floor. Not only that, but this game has awesome and creative boss fights too. I already mentioned the monster movie boss fight. 
I did suck up all the boss ghosts except the film director, as the film director wasn't much of a threat. Helen Gravely's cat comes in and halts your progress, which does require backtracking, and I do think it pads the game out just a bit. Just a bit. <clears throat> Right, the boss fights. I really like the fight against the dinosaur skeleton, the three magician sisters, and I also really liked the fight with Helen Gravely, which was pretty challenging. And then there's the final boss, which is King Boo. Though personally, I do think the fight in the first game with Bowser is more epic. Don't get me wrong, for a final boss, King Boo had the right amount of challenge, but I don't like how part of this boss has a time limit. Once that's done though, the hotel crumbles and Luigi's friends are rescued. Luigi and his friends, as well as some nice ghosts, help rebuild the hotel, only not haunted. Then Luigi and his friends ride out into the sunset. I disagree when people say single player games are dying out. In fact, a good single player experience is what makes me buy a game immediately. Now don't get me wrong, I do play multiplayer occasionally and this game does have multiplayer. However, I bought the game for its single player so I won't spend too long talking about this. First we have Screen Park which contained three mini games with more on the way via DLC. There is Ghost Hunt, which you try to suck up the most ghosts basically, Cannon Barrage, which you shoot the targets, Coin Floating, collect the most coins while on a tube. Now let's talk about Scare Scraper. You basically play with a few other players to suck up ghosts to clean floors in a tower, building, mansion, whatever you want to call it. I'm glad this game is giving players another opportunity to get more mileage out of this game, but me on the other hand, I'm gonna be going back for the single player. Which has optional content such as collecting booze and hidden gems. I give this game a 9 out of 10. I may have posted this video like a few months after release, but when I bought it, I played it on Halloween. It was a great way to celebrate it. I think it may be the best Luigi's Mansion yet because I loved how creative the floors are. And I especially love the boss fights. I know there is DLC for multiplayer, but one thing I would like is a mode where the floors are rearranged to have harder puzzles to challenge your brain more. Thank you guys for watching, take care, and I will see you for my compilation of Final Fantasy VII Marathon.